Hey, hey. Let me get everything pulled up. See it there. <gasps> Miss Betty. Hey, Paula. How is everybody today? I'm just finding my feed here so I can try and watch some comments. Hi, Leanne. Welcome. I am in Mobile, Alabama. Hey, Jana. Hey Beverly, all right, everybody's coming in. Make sure, hey Tisha, make sure you share with your friends, let them know where you're hanging out this afternoon. Go ahead and give my page a follow. Let me turn this volume off. There we go. Let me know how sound is. Hey, Miss Rhonda. So I am Jana Mays with J. Marie Designed. I am in Mobile, Alabama, and I am part of Tammy's Troops. And this week we have been taken over, taken over the internet and sharing um, as much as we can to keep people's minds in that creative spirit during this time when things are a little rough for some people. Hey Jan, hey Tracy, Amy, how is everybody? So today I am going to do, I'm going to try and do two rails. And I'm going to see if I can do this without losing everybody. Maybe. I gotta figure this out again. It always takes me a minute to see if I can switch my view. There we go. We'll see if this works. Hopefully it does. Okay, we almost have it. We're backwards now, but hey, Amber. There we go, finally. So now you guys can see my table. Get that adjusted for y'all. Get rid of comments here. Hey, Katie, Deanna, Miss Tina, thank you for sharing the love. So these are, this was my little reminder of where I need to look at my iPad because I always look at the wrong place. So I have two rails. There we go. Um, this is a sign that I made and then the rails are from Stoney and Michelle at Wilds Creek and Company or WildsCreekSupply.com. This is an eight inch sign. So these are my favorite things to do. They're super fast and they are um, quick, wonderful little gifts. If you have a new parent, um, my neighbors just had a new baby. So I'm gonna take this over for them um, to hang. They just had a brand new little girl. We haven't been able to see her yet except for in the stroller as, as they're walking outside but I love doing the rails. So let me grab one and I'll show you what they look like when they come from Stony. Okay, this is one of the big ones. This would actually fit a 12 inch sign. Hey, Emily. Hey, Carol, Michelle. Hey, Carly Mays. So this would fit a 12 inch sign. And what I do is I paint them with the chalk paint, the Waverly chalk paint from Walmart. 
um, I know Michelle just spray paints them and then I seal them with Rust-Oleum 2x clear so they are they are sealed they will stand up to I mean not direct weather but they will stand up to being outside or being on a, a front door I have a watermelon one on our front door right now hey Amanda hey Mindy Joe so then I seal them the signs are the ones that I that I make that I carry at J Marie Designed but then I just attach them with E6000 glue and a couple clamps and that's it you're ready to go so then when you get ready to to do it it's nine ties that's all there is on these little ones and this measures it's about 11 inches from side to side here so it's just nine ties and that's it so I hey Trenton hey Sharon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some I have 20 inch or 10 inch mesh that I cut at 20 inches and I am just going to ruffle it and add that and then I have some just the burlap jute poly jute brown to go um, with it to kind of give it a little bit of a not really rustic but shabby chic look and then look at this amazing ribbon isn't that gorgeous I got this from Ranch House Craft Supplies. Yes, Katie, they do come bigger. I can do up to, um, like this one is 12 inches. So if you can see, this is a little one, and then this is the bigger one. So then I would just put a bigger sign in there. Hey, Becky Jones. Hey, Melissa Campbell. So I'm going to ruffle those. And then for the girl, I have these ribbons here. And then for the boy one, I'm just going to switch out the blue. But they're super fun, super fast, um, and I, I love doing them. I like doing big race too, but the rails are from Wilds Creek and Company. Uh, WildsCreekSupply.com So let me move this out of the way real quick, at least the blue one. And it's like 9 million degrees in my room today. Um, try and see if the fan helps. Okay, now I'm going to tell you guys, you're going to think I'm really weird, but I cannot stand the sound or the feel of the mesh when I ruffle it. It's like pulling cotton out of an aspirin bottle. It makes my kneecaps tingle. So usually I wear these little silicone finger protectors because the sound makes me crazy. Hey Margie. Hey Cheryl. Welcome, welcome everybody. So this is my, just my little 20 inch ruffle. And I'm going to start on the bottom here. And give it a good pull. Make sure you share, let everybody know we're here. We are the, the group of lives that's been going on uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We are part of Tammy's Troops with um, from Tammy Hodges, and it's her private coaching group. She does a lot of business coaching as well as some amazing creative coaching. She and her husband, Mike, have been a huge inspiration and a big help to our family. <laughs> Gary, it does. The mesh makes me cringe. So then I'm just going to stack these up so that they're kind of like little bookends. Oh, Trish, that's warm. Hey, Shaylin. So I have been busy, busy, busy. And good news is, is hopefully within, I don't know how long it's going to take, but we have been talking that I will eventually get a building. So I will move out of this little room, which used to be my daughter's. Thank you, Becky. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. So these signs are available on my Etsy store, but also, there we go. So look, we're almost, we're almost halfway done. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Amanda. Okay, 
this whole coronavirus thing needs to end because I need a girls weekend and some social distancing away from the family. Love them dearly, but I need a girls weekend. So let me get these in here. We're going to add some uh, ribbon tails and then a big bow and then I have these they're for Easter actually but I thought that I could cut these apart and use some of these the little curls for the pink and the little blue and pink glitter balls on there and add those in there too hey Melena. So yeah, this makes me cringe. I don't know why. I think it's because my fingernails stick, but I just I hate the sound. I hate the sound of the mesh ruffles ruffling. Hey, Michelle Stone. Hey, Katie, thank you. Yeah, Gary, you probably do need a guy's weekend too. All right, so there should be a graphic on my page of um, the rest of the troops that are, I need to look and see who is after me, but I am following Trisha Andrews, and I know Gary went yesterday and Melissa went this morning. It's been so much fun seeing all the different projects. Jody, you need a boys weekend away? <laughs> well, look, there's Stoney, Jody, Gary. You guys are set. So, let's see. Who is. Hey, Carol Ann, how are you doing? Hey, Michelle Gorman. I miss your face, girl. Hi, Shirley. I'm glad you're joining me. I know it is absolutely beautiful here, too. Um, we have a new puppy, so we've been spending a lot of time out in the yard with him and going on walks and stuff. So, so here is just my, my little butterfly ruffle and it's just going to go straight down. Crazy Maisie. That's right. Katie is next. Thank you, Becky. So these are super quick to do and you can add so much to them. I thought too on one of them I might add a, a foam block up here and then add some um, florals to it too which would be really sweet. Some little pink flowers or something with this one. Hey Cheryl I am actually in Mobile Alabama so we are Alabama Gulf Coast. Hey Wendy welcome so oh, there's my ruffle. Oh, Amanda, I'm so glad you like that. He was so proud of himself when he he figured that out. And that money goes back back to him. Amanda is talking about the wreath buddy that my son developed, which I use for um, mesh wreaths as well because, like I said, mesh the feel of mesh makes me cringe. So I use the wreath buddy to get my uh, pipe cleaners for my bows pushed pushed back through too. Stony did the cutest pig rail the other night too. It looked like the pig was wearing a tutu. So this is just, it's nice and full, but it's really not that thick. So we've just got one more to do. I'm trying to follow up the middle, the little stripe here. 
there we go my little butterfly and that's just gonna go one oops two so now that we have those I'm going to cut some some of this burlap jute mesh hey Teresa Durbin I am doing fantastic thank you for asking I need to really do more lives that's my my goal coming up in the next few months is to do some more so those are for the other one oops I lost my cards There we go. I actually have you guys on the big TV so that I can see. So these we're just gonna do little taquitos. Oh, let me get a clip. Two, three. And this is just to give it a little different color. A wreath buddy. Let me grab one. So we just have our little curls. We'll start back over here. There we go. So just a little bit of that burlap look. So this is a wreath buddy, has a handle on it. My son developed it for grapevines, pulling the pipe cleaners back through. I was having the hardest time getting my hands in the pipe cleaners or to try and use needle nose pliers to work through and then pull it back out. With this, you just stick it through your grapevine. There is a hole right here. Stick your pipe cleaner through there and just feed it back through. Hi, Daniel Jones. Hi, Ted Jones. And that's it. That's what it was for. Hey, Sandra Anderson. So it's just a, a tool that my 17-year-old designed. Um, he does some blacksmithing and makes knives and stuff and also is now doing pens. But that was his... Um, his design. He is working on a handle for it and um, so that those that have maybe not have the grip strength would have something more to hold on to. And we will be our next event. And don't forget TDR. We will be a TDR in October. Um, as vendors with flaps as well, which is our barbecue company. Melina, they are. They are on my website. Um, it's jmariedesign.com. They are in the Etsy shop there. He, um, it's just, it just is like a little helping hand to help, help you pull those back through. It, it totally works on mesh too. I stick it up where I want my bow to go and then feed it back through. Hey, Candy! So I have been busy, busy, busy. I worked yesterday, got all of my, I have a sign club, got all the signs out for everybody. Amanda, I would love to come back to Illinois and help you set up. Actually, we could probably do that on a, a Facebook a video call. But I love being able to show what I'm doing, but also you can see, you can see me. So we've got just a little bit of color here. So the Texas Designers Roundup is going to be fantastic it is put on by ranch house craft supplies and ranch house reese 
Dre and Jesse and Deborah and the crew. We didn't we missed this last year because Maddie Grace had hurt her her knee and so we didn't get to go, which was very sad. But we had to be home with her because we weren't sure what was going on. Hey Janie. Michelle, you can go to jmariedesign.com to find the um, the wreath buddy and my signs. All the signs are there as well. But I am really looking forward to eventually having some more space. Oh, Elena, that's a good idea. Hey, Tom Hutton. So my room is really small and it's not just small because there's a lot of stuff, but there is, there is a lot of stuff, but it's because I have my tumblers that I make. So I've got glitter and cups and my epoxy and all my turners. Then I've got sewing, my sewing machines, all my fabric. And then now I've got my sublimation printer and my heat presses and t-shirt stuff and wreath stuff. So we kind of decided that it was time to move out of the house and into a building, which then frees up, you know, a lot of things. I have boxes hidden behind my husband's recliner, some under my son's bed. So there we go, got our ruffles going in. It just gives it such a cute look. So if you haven't used a rail, they are one of my very favorite things to do. I have done a lot of them. I have sold a lot of them. but they just, they're quick. It's something different than a round wreath form. It gives you a place to put your, your sign. You can use them just as a door hanger in the house. They, I use some electrical fencing wire to add a hanger to the top and then I just curl the ends around it. And thank you Shorty for the reminder. This mesh, Gary, actually all my mesh, Gary, I cut it 20 inches and the, some of it I just ruffle and some of it I curl. Hey, Susan, how are you? So there we go. Hey, Jamie Gaffari. Oh, Betty, yeah, spiders. Um, we have a shed outside. Um, it's kind of where our, our rabbits hang out. But um, it's got snakes and tree rats. We used to have palm trees in the backyard and we had tree rats. And don't do what Tammy did and Google what a tree rat is because they're hideous creatures. And they can just stay out there in that shed with the snakes and we will uh, call it good. I'll stay out of their way and they stay out of mine. Hey, Lori. Welcome to all the new people. I'm so glad you found me. If you would, if you would follow my page, I am really close to 5,000 followers. And when I get to 5,000 followers, I have, I'm gonna have a party. Because you know, you always need a reason to party. But I have some really cool giveaways to do as well but I am so I just do a little as Tammy calls them a little taquito I know Shauna right no snakes and no tree rats they're icky they can stay out there and just have each other so I'll get a brand new building and we'll we'll go from there so these I have two little taquitos on each end 
and then I just gather up the middle and find my ties. I've only got a couple more to do. That's how quick this goes. I think I'm okay on time. Yeah, Lori. Welcome to the South. But we haven't, we've been pretty good with the snakes recently. They haven't been too bad. My husband despises them. Absolutely hates them. I'm not particularly a fan, but so do our little taquito. So where is, hey Loretta, where is everybody from? I actually grew up in Washington State, about an hour from where Mr. Gary lives. Was born and raised in Washington, met my husband and we spent eight years in Alaska with the Coast Guard, then moved, oh no, moved here to Mobile from Alaska and have been here almost eight years. We have squirrels too, but yeah, the snakes and the, the rats um, I could do without. Okay, there is all of our little ruffles, our poofs are in there. So it just gives it kind of this sweet, sweet little kind of shabby chic look and then I'm gonna pull pull out kind of the pinks with some ribbon if you hear something hacking and coughing in the background that is Lola my dog she she's a little bit dramatic so we are gonna do I'm gonna show this ribbon again because it is the most beautiful ribbon ever. And I think this came from Dre, from Ranch House Craft Supplies, and I've hoarded it for like a year. The Rails Bonnie came from Stonia Michelle at wildscreek.com or Wilds Creek Supply. Stony, if you're still here, I'm not sure which. So let's see, we are going to do 13 inch tails and then we will make a bow. supply there we go Five, six, seven, eight, nine. so we only need nine tails actually really only need eight tails because the bow kind of covers some of them up isn't this ribbon beautiful I've hoarded it and held on to it for a year I think it came from Ranch House last year. But I just thought it would be sweet with this little girl. So I'm just trimming these up. There we go. I'm going to grab my bigger scissors. Betty, um, Katie, Crazy Maisie is up after me. So we'll dovetail these real quick. I am so glad that everybody joined. I hope everybody's having fun watching all the different the different lives and all the different people. I know I loved watching 
Gary yesterday make his cards and um, all the other crafts that have gone. Trisha's rail was really pretty. Um, can't wait to see what Katie has up her sleeve. She's always doing something great. So there's that one. Now we'll do our pink. And I just have this really sweet little pink plaid. I love how this is turning out. My oldest baby turned 22 yesterday. It was kind of, it was sad. She's not my baby anymore. Oops. Got caught up there. I'm using the tailboard from Hot Mesh Mom from Carrie. Maybe. Operator Air. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week. And practicing their their social distancing. And those that are essential that you're being safe as well. Hey April, how are you? So I'm just gonna dovetail these ones. I think my camera's falling slowly. Hey Debbie. Amber did her first live yesterday and she was amazing. Carly Mays, you're procrastinating writing a paper? What? Carly is my daughter, my oldest daughter, who had a birthday yesterday, who is graduating from college this year and uh, will not get her graduation ceremony till August. All right, so now we get our little elephant back and I am just going to, can I see the rail on the back of the wreath? There's the back. It's just the, the pipe cleaners and that's it. And then the front. So we'll add, so I'm gonna just pair these up and fold it in half. And then scrunch, 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 scrunch. So we've got our little tail. And I think I just cut way too many. I really only need, I think, four or five of these because we're gonna do a bow. So we'll let this pretty ribbon peek out. And I cross my tail so that they're kind of in an X. Hey Jess! So we fold it in half. And then scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And then I just give it a little, a little curl. And then in they go. I know, Katie, can you believe she's gonna graduate? So there we go. There's our two in the ends there. Deb, 
Deborah. It is the the small rail that Stony has that fits the eight inch signs. So this is one of my my eight inch signs here, and then um, the rail itself is only about eleven inches in total total length for for this one. The ones for the other ones are a little bigger. Get those a little curled. Wendy, I think that they will do the graduation ceremony. Carly, didn't they say they're going to try and do it in August if all of this is cleared up again? Um, I think was the last word. Um, she's finishing everything up on online. She goes to the uh, Southern Miss in Hattiesburg. She is going to graduate um, in athletic training. Oh, thanks, Carol. I'm still fairly new to all of this, so I try and explain as I go. So there we go. There's our four. I think I'm going to do two more on each top and bottom, and then we will make a bow. And that is about it. And then I'll start on another one so you can see the whole process. Oh, thanks, Terry. I have so much fun. I actually have a degree in graphic design. At least that's what my college diploma says. So this is almost, I think this is probably the first time that I really put put that degree to use with the sign making and I love it. I have so much fun. I love doing custom requests, um, but it just, I finally feel like I found my little thing that I love to do. There we go. Oh, Lou, sure. Let me finish this real quick and I'll grab the other one and I'll show you how I place the, the ties. So there we go. And then we'll make our bow. So I just give these a little crisscross. Isn't that sweet? Doesn't that look sweet? And then you could, okay, so let me grab the other rail real quick and I will show you how I do this. So here is one that I haven't, haven't put my ties on yet. It's just blank. So I'm going to take my white pipe cleaners and I start at one side and on the bottom I pull down towards me. So they're at this end here and I just give them a little one, two. And then I come to this side and I do the same thing. So they're at the, they're positioned kind of at the bottom of the the rail and then I do one in the middle and I just kind of eyeball it and again these rails are from Stoney and Michelle then I'm just gonna go in between these ones down here and you can put a little dab of glue on there um, they don't really move around at all so then I go and I just go in between where these ones are I'm gonna place in between here and then this one I will tie it so that it's towards the top of this rail so these ones are on the top here and then these ones are on the bottom down here So, 
And Stony has the rails that fit all different size signs. Um, so there we go. That's it. That's all of our ties. That's our nine, our nine ties. And that's it. That's all there is on that I put on there. So he has the rails for the small round signs, the large round signs, the small squares, the, the large rectangles, and the ovals going both horizontally and vertically. So then that one is ready for, I think we'll add to our rest of our ties here. I love the rails, absolutely love them. They're just, it's just a fun, a fun project. And um, if you, especially if you have small end of rolls of mesh, it takes less than a half a roll of mesh to do like the white rough. I cut everything at 20 inches and I can get two, two rails out of one roll of mesh. So if you have scraps of mesh or scraps of ribbon that you have left over from another project, this is the perfect way to use those up. And it doesn't look like it's scraps. It's just... Deborah, the rails are wildscreeksupply.com. All right, one more and we'll make a bow. But if you have, you know, like if you do where you have just a little bit of a roll left over, it's a really good way to use up those, those half pieces or half rolls of mesh. There we go. We'll just kind of give our tails a little curl. So see how full that is? And it really, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tie, eight tails in there. And then our sweet little sign that says, it's a girl with that cute little elephant. So let's make a bow. And I'm gonna start with this one, I think, if it'll turn. It might not turn. It broke, so I'm just gonna pull it. <laughs> the thing fell apart, so it's zip tied to hold it all together. Hey, Wilhelmina! So we're going to do some nice long tails, about 15 inches. I love to have the longer tails and then curl them up for, and we'll do about six and a half inch loops on the bottom, maybe six. do three loops on the bottom here I know that pink just kind of makes it pop and it's so sweet And we'll see how much of this beautiful ribbon I have. If I have enough to get a few loops out of it, I think I'm just going to do one on each side with this one. Thanks, Emily. Who just made it.
and then our pink. Have a nice walk, Wilhelmina. Isn't that polka dot fun too? So again, this are three days of lives. Tammy's Troops Taken Over is sponsored and instigated by Tammy Hodges with Polka Dot Wreath Co. And her private coaching group is Tammy's Troops. If you are interested in an amazing coach, both creatively and business, and then, all right, let's grab. And I'm just zip tying down through the middle here. Hey, Susan. And then before I pull it all the way through, I'm going to stick my pipe cleaner through. And then cinch this way down. Snip that off. Now this is where everything out of the way. The wreath buddy comes in handy because you see how full this is. I hey Marcella, welcome. I am going to stick this through the mesh here, up through this side. So there it is right there. I'm going to feed my pipe cleaner through the, the wreath buddy and then pull it back through. So I'm trying to go around this middle rail. So I'm going to pull this through. Hey, Regina Havens. And then find my other one. There we go. And we're just going right in the middle of this rail with our bow. And let me give it twist get all my loops and tails going the right direction fluff this up a little bit I don't know that it would feed through all the way through those holes though to work on the the unique in the creek boards but we could definitely come up with something Gary I will measure it here in just a second let me just get well, that one's really long curlies up Wendy, I did make the elephant signs. They are in my Etsy store. So when I do my 
ribbons. I roll them up and then I grab my tail and I just pull it down. So I have like little corkscrews. This one is really long too. This one I'm just gonna roll and give it a little bit of a curl. How am I on time? 10 more minutes. And then if you guys would head over to Crazy Maisie, to Katie, Miss Katie, she's up next. So there we go. Give these a little fluff, get my tails all out. And here we go. Here is our sweet little sign. It says it's a girl with our wreath, little rail on there. It's nice and full. It is, Gary, about 21 inches long. It comes out to about 21 inches wide and it's not super thick. Maybe, let's see how thick it might be. Maybe seven inches. And then I just take some wire. I made the signs, Pam. The signs are available at jmariedesigned.com. So here is my little girl one. Find my camera. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then this is the next one that I'll do. Grab a drink real quick. So both of these signs are available in my store. This is the little boy one. There. <coughs> Excuse me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who joined me today. If you wouldn't mind, if you haven't followed, I'm really trying to reach 5,000 followers. I will be live probably tonight to finish this one and to do a Americana patriotic wreath that I have an order for. So if you will head on over at 3 o'clock Central Time to Crazy Maisie. Kathy, I did, I just used E6000 glue to attach the sign to the rail. So let me grab one of the signs, I'll show you what they look like. So the signs are just the metal signs like this. I just put dabs of E6000 all the way across. I take it and then find the center of my board there, however, there we go. Glue it down and I use some, um, the little clamps that are a little bigger than this and just clamp it down and let it dry and that's it and it's on there. And then I use just some bailing wire, electrical fence wire that we have and I make a hanger for it and I kind of curl the ends. You could do ribbon and put a big bow at the top as well to tie that all together. But that's it. They're easy peasy, lemon squeezy, super fun. So thank you, thank you everybody who joined. And I loved seeing everybody. I love creating these things. The rails are one of my absolute favorite things to do. So I hope everybody has the rails. Kathy are from Estonia Michelle at Wilds Creek. You can get them at wildscreeksupply.com. And he's got them in all different sizes to fit all different size signs. He's got some that are just like to make a swag. Um, but there, he has some great rails. So check them out. I know, Gary, I love E6000. Use it for a lot of things. But everybody have an amazing afternoon. Be kind. Check on your neighbors. Check on the elderly. And be blessed. Thank you.